Well, we made it to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, so let's talk about it. Release was February 17, 2023. Of, well, basically it released this year and uh, just a couple of days ago, 8, 9, 20, so like three days ago. And I saw it last night with my friends. Uh, critics gave it a 47%. So basically it's like right there with Eternals because it's like the second or third lowest rating critics score for a MCU film. The audience gave it an 84%. But I will say with this movie, the audience and the critics um, are half and half. Half will love it. Half will hate it. So it's split. For me, I thought the movie was kind of mid. It was all right. It, it's not spectacular. It's not amazing. It's not awful. It's not great. It's okay. I give it a 6 out of 10. Budget, $200 million. Box office so far is $225.3 million. So far, since it's still on theater. And a short summary for this film. Both Ant-Man and Wasp see themselves exploring the quantum realm, interacting with strange new creatures, which I thought is pretty cool, and embarking on an adventure that takes them past the limits of what they thought was possible. Now, I'm not going to spoil this film. This is a no-spoil review. Three things that I loved, no spoilers. The villain. Thought they did a good job with King. Some parts about the quantum realm and the characters that are in the quantum realm. I thought the overall quantum realm aspect was sort of interesting to say the least. Some parts of it interesting, some parts all right. Um, some of the fight scenes and dialogue were pretty good. Some. Things I have disliked, the plot just didn't work for me. Um, too big scale for an Ant-Man movie. It's just, and I know what it's supposed to be like that because they wanted it to be technically a Civil War slash uh, big scale kickoff for the MCU in Phase 5. And I'm like, you know what, that's all good and all, but like for an Ant-Man film, I think you should keep like Ant-Man at a smaller pace because they did that with the previous two and the previous two did amazing and they, there's just uh, nice, nice films and whatnot. I mean, if it's any other Avenger or any other Marvel character, I mean, yeah, you could do that. Like Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, well, not Iron Man anymore, but Cap not even Captain America, but like any other Avenger that you could technically still do that with ne necessarily has to be Ant-Man. But then again, at the same time, that they did that for Ant-Man. And that's where <sighs> craziness happened. The other one's mainly back to my other point. Overall, this film, you don't have to rush to see... You don't have to rush to theaters to see this film. You can wait till it's on streaming on Disney Plus or whatever. It's not even gonna... The most it would take is 70-something days. But it... it... It's, you don't have to rush to see it. You don't have to rush to get tickets. Be like, oh, I gotta see this film. This film is so exponential. It's so big and huge. I need to see it right now. I need to see it right now. No. Absolutely not. No. It's, it's, <clears throat> not that it's huge. It's huge, but it's like, it can wait. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is, Mm, most certainly going to be better than this one. I had really high hopes going into this movie, though. I was like, oh, this movie's going to be great. It's going to show Ariel, Guadalupe, well, they're going to do it. Uh, uh, this is going to be the great start. I, I mean, I will say, though, it, it does seem great for Phase 5, like MCU Phase 5 and kicking off some things. But for an Ant-Man movie, this is not too great in my opinion at least because an Ant the, the Ant-Man movies are small scale and that's what made them great because they were just so fun and to see the heist part about it and to just the kind 
this is more serious, like tone down and stuff like that. And it does have still some humor inside of this particular film, but at the same time, it's more serious, more danger. Scott Lane could die. All that says in zone in the trailer. I will reiterate. There were some parts of this movie that was good. Really. But then again, there were also some parts of this movie that really wasn't that great. This movie is definitely better than Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It, I would have to say it's a little bit better than Thor Love and Thunder. But it's still down there. It's not like... Marvel needs to take, I, I think Marvel with some of their MCU movies so far, it's either a hit or a miss. Like Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, that was an amazing movie. Phenomenal. I love it. Spider-Man No Way Home, amazing movie. Phenomenal. I mean, it's been out two years now, so I can say it. They brought Tobey Maguire back. They brought Andrew Garfield back in Spider-Man No Way Home. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. An amazing movie. I thought they did an amazing job with telling the origin of Shang-Chi in the, in the actual Mandarin instead of an actor this time. But, uh, sorry, me getting off topic here, but... Some of the projects for Mar Marvel, like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania... Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania didn't do it for me, necessarily. But that's okay. You guys might have liked it, and that's cool and all. You know, it's... Hey. I, I thought it was okay. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I'm just saying it could have been better, in my opinion. They could have done certain stuff better. But that's just me. Like, I'm not going to spoil it, and I'm not going to go into it, because it just came out. I want you guys to enjoy it. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. You guys sh should see it and form your own opinion on it and go based on your own opinion. Have an open mind. I went with my friends. It was amazing. Um, well, not the movie, but hanging out with my friends was amazing. And uh, it's going to be good memories in the future. But um, yeah, no, this movie was uh, not too great. I... <laughs> Modok was in the trailer though, so that's not spoiling anything. Modok was also, he was good. He was okay. Could he have been better? I don't think necessarily could. But he was. He had great moments. He had good moments. So they do tell you a little bit. So, but um, that's overthinking here. But no, that's. Overall, great, uh, not great. Why do I keep saying it? Overall, an, it's an okay ending for the Ant-Man trilogy. And uh, we'll just have to see what they do moving forward. And uh, But tune in for the next one. I might do, I, I think I am going to do more MCU films, actually, because MCU is, like, really popular now. Star Wars is really popular. DC is also really popular. Um, what else is really popular? Um, some sci-fi franchises are also pretty popular. So just stay tuned. And uh, hope you guys have a great day and whatnot. So, peace.